button. Double tap and hold to show more. Grim Quest. Hello, everybody. Just wanted to say hello. This is my next tutorial video. This is a game called Grim Quest. There's also another version of it called Grim Quest Origins. So, when you first start off here, we have the continue. Continue. Play. Play. Settings. Settings. Community. Community. One, three, two. And then the update. So, that all being said, settings will give you access to your dungeon avatar so essentially how it looks while you're in the dungeon it'll also give you access to music on or off animation speed and a couple other various options including visual themes such as grayscale and the default and dark mode and stuff like that now I will tell you some things are not labeled by voiceover. So if you are a blind or low vision individual, it might be a little bit difficult. And there are times when you go back, it stops voiceover. So you have to turn voiceover off and then kind of scroll down and then turn it back on. It, it's weird. Either that or close the app and restart it. That being said, I will show you the main components. Play. Continue. Continue. City of Ashbourne, day seven. Tap to access council chambers. So here, if you access the council chambers, you can upgrade different things, different parts and uh, stores. However, you can only do that after you've beaten the Orc Chief, which I haven't done yet. <laughs> City of Ashbourne. Image. Alma. In-app purchases. Image. So now where it says in-app purchases, if you click that, that won't take you to them. But if I swipe to the left, it doesn't say anything. But if you click there, it'll take you to the in-app purchase. In-app purchase. If you click to the right after the in-app purchase, it will again say nothing. But if you go to the right again, it'll say main menu. So where it says nothing, click that and you'll go to the main menu. Main menu. Cloudy. 12, 445, 0, slash 65, slash 10 event. So this will tell you how much gold, health, supplies, and sanity you have. Gold, image, diag, supplies, image, sanity, image, as you can see. City event, image, collect wages from the city council, image, illustrations, collect wages from the city You'll council. You'll click this when you want to collect the money you've earned from doing dungeons. It starts off with 30 gold. Dancing Dragon, Image, Logo Other, Night Sky, Dancing, This is the Dancing Dragon, bullet. which is the tavern of the game. You come here to refill your supplies for 15 gold, and also refill san Sanity. Various Assortments, Image, Handwriting, This is your general store, the Various logo other, Assortment various Shop. A cornament. You can sell your items as well as obtain items, various weapons, armor, and healing items, things that will restore your sanity, that sort of deal. Mystic Emporium, Image, Headbear, Night Sky, this Mystic. This is the Mystic Emporium where you can buy your spells. Black Logo Other, Outdoor, Blacksmith, H. This is the Blacksmith where you can upgrade your weapons and your health. You can upgrade them once per level. Guild House, Image, Illustrations, This is logo the Guild other. House Night where Sky, you can buy Guild. skills. 11 a 11 ja they're different from spells, so they'd be things like Savage Strike, Multiple Blow, that sort of thing. Boiling Cauldron, Image, Illustrations, The Boiling Logo Cauldron other, is Night Sky, where you create boiling, your potions. 
Taking two ingredients and combining them together will make a potion or item of sorts. Character, image, logo. This other. is your character. character. If you click into this, you will have access to un unequip and equip weapons slash armor and accessories. You will also therefore be able to use different kinds of items and things like that. Journal, image, illustrations. This is your logo journal. Other. journal. This is where you will see your bounties, your quests, as well as the bestiary. Training grounds, image. This is the training grounds where you can increase the manpower of the mercenaries protecting the city. World map, image. This is your world map. When you click into this, it'll take you to the eight locations that you can go to which I shall show you now. World map, image. Back, image. Deselect dungeon, image. Di Ashbourne, image. Diagram, So this is sign. Ashbourne, this is where we currently are. Sunken grotto, image. Sunken Illustrations, grotto. glacial pass, image. Illust Altar of oblivion, image. Withering woods, image. The tear, image. Blasted wastes, image, burning caldera, image, imperial mausoleum, image, sign, burning, blood, the tear, withering, altar, glacial, sunken, gro ashbourne, sunken grotto, so we're gonna sunken click on grotto, sunken grotto. Image, illustrations, sunken, grotto, on the bottom of the screen, sunken, the tear, image, blasted, burning caldera, imperial moss, a complex of caves stretching along, dungeon level reached. It'll give you the description of the dungeon, and then it'll say dungeon level reached. Five, enemies, it'll tell you your enemy, enemy type, human, enemy type, Undead. Enemy type. Muatar. Enemy type. Beast. Image. Enter dungeon. Image. And then enter dungeon. So you Logo. Enter, enter dungeon. Dark manifestations. As you venture further into the grotto, you notice that the dark has a curious effect on your mind and your surroundings. When you feel a particular dismiss. So this will give you a little bit of a description. I don't want to read too much of it. So that way you don't get any spoilers. But you get the idea. Now, when you pull up this screen, unfortunately, voiceover doesn't read off the different tiles. So you kind of just have to scroll until you find this. This is you, image. Once you hear that, go to the left or the right, and your person will move one tile to the left or right. Same if you were to go up one or down one. 5 slash 10. Health, image, 91 slash 91. So, health. Health, 5 slash 10. I have 5 out of 10. Sanity, image. Sanity. If your sanity gets too low, you will start losing health. And you'll also get visited by dark manifestations. 392 slash 405. This is how much experience I have and currently need to get to the next level. Level. Image. 445. This is how much gold. Gold. Image. Diagram. Manifestation device. Image. And these are items on your hotbar. Now, let's move around the dungeon a little bit. So, as you can see, this is you. This image. is where I am. And now if I go back to the left three times, that's one, two, retreat dungeon, and image. three. So now retreat dungeon, you can essentially leave the dungeon with all the items you've collected if you haven't found the exit and you're completely low on health and sanity. Now let's see if we can find a monster. So here I'm just moving through the dungeon, seeing what I can find.
And so far, nothing. So, what I found here is an event. So events are random things that you can find and you'll have choices to do different things. For example, I'll show you this one. Rounding a corner, you spot a man of advanced years sitting on the large rock by the side of the road, looking jolly and relaxed, despite the harsh reality of his whereabouts. He greets you as you approach, presents himself as a traveling painter, and offers to paint your very own portrait. You are suspicious at first, but a quick glance at the canvas resting a few paces besides the man reveals him to be a master of his craft. Indeed, ellipsis. Accept his offer. Now I could accept this guy's offer to paint my portrait, or... Leave. I can leave. I'm going to leave. Leave. Event. Image. Now see, since I left, it said event on that tile. So that means I can go back to that tile. But let's see if I can at least find one monster. And I found another event. You were greeted by a traveling musician sitting in the shade of the Ask for an uplifting tune. Ask for a leave. Leave. We're gonna leave you for now. 78 slash 91. And we're gonna go... Now I have to go backwards. Because it wants me to do the event and I don't want to do it right now. Okay. So, just got into a fight. At the top of your screen. Screen recording in progress. Three question marks. Three question marks. Image, illustrations. Three question marks. So it says three question three marks question marks. I don't know what this enemy is. Combat screen. Image, sign. Three question. No, it says combat screen. If you swipe to the right, voiceover's not going to say anything. But you double tap that, and that's how you attack your enemy. Three question marks. One slash ten. Items. Image. Items. Spells. Image. Spells. Items. Spells. Skills. Skills. Stats. Image. Stats. Defend. Image. Defend. I can defend. Illustrations. Retreat. Three slash three. Sl retreat. Image. Illustrations. Oh, retreat. retreat. Three slash three. Slow time. Plus ten. Now these are the spells minus in my Minus four percent enemy crit. Three slash three. Seed of oblivion. 2DMG slash turn disables enemy ability. 3 slash 3 feet of oblivion. That? 2 DMG. 1. I did 1 damage. 7. Victory. Now I got a victory. EXP. 5. So here you can see my EXP. Gold. 8. My gold. Inventory slots occupied. Image. And if there was an item looted from the creatures, it would tell me that item before it says inventory slots occupied. 3 slash 8. Now I have 3 slash 8 inventory slots, so I can't really carry that much. But you can upgrade them at the tavern as well. But it costs quite a bit of gold. Continue. Continue. So I'm going to retreat, retreat for now. Image. Retreat from the dun. Retreat from the yes. Fresh blood. Following the city council's desperate call for new recruits, waves of mercenaries flocked to Ashbourne in search of coin and glory, unaware or uncaring for the dangers that lurked just beyond the dark horizon. Ellipsis. Mercenaries manpower boosted. City event. Image dismiss. So I just got another event. When I came back. City of Ashbourne. Day 8. Tap to access council chambers. Voice over off. I hope that this has helped some people. If you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.